Welcome to Geek Nerd Tech. Today we're talking about net neutrality. The Obamas might have a Netflix show and an Avengers Affinity War coming soon. Let's go. You are tuned in to Black Hollywood Lives, Geek Nerd Tech. Yeah. I know you're bobbing your head. Cause I can see you. Welcome to Black Hollywood Live. This is Geek Nerd Tech, also known as GNT. I am your host, Akili Shine, and to my right is my main brother and friend, Ryan Hollins. Welcome. West Coast! West Coast! Yes, sir, man. It's a West Coast type of day, man. I'm feeling it. Dog Pound, Dog Food, a classic hip hop album. Tell me you weren't on this, bruh. I was, but I'm, I'm just surprised, man. Like, we're on Geek Nerd Tech, and then you throwing some dog pound. Like, why not? Like, you are something else, dog. I'm a geek, bro. I, I can't geek out on, on West Coast hip hop music. A little bit of a Thank contradictory you. right there, but I mean, I, it, I'm confused. Geeks it's don't who like you music. are. Geeks it's don't who like you music. are. Okay, brother. You, you don't make no sense, man. We're going to start the show off like this, bro. Let's get it, dog. Now, I'm pumped. You got me fired up. It's a little bit of everything, dog. It's diversity, you know what I'm saying? You, but you're right, though. That is a point, man, because geeks come in all shapes and, and sizes and, shizes exactly. and, 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 and diversity and backgrounds. You got gangster crips on Facebook now. And man, <laughs> seriously. You know, you're going to have a, a, a OG Ward a game developer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, that's the new world, it's man. The Tech world is taking over, in, brother. Well, I'll tell you what is dope Ooh. and what is in the world Ooh. is net neutrality, baby. And California proposed a bill this week to actually preserve net neutrality in you know, the state. We talked about this before with the state of Washington saying that, hey, no, net neutrality is going to stay here. Equal opportunity and access to Internet for everyone. Forget what you said, Trump and FCC. Like, no, everyone gets the same speed in this state. California is also doing it. Because I remember I asked you, I said, do you think it'll be a domino effect where other states will begin to do it? And that's exactly what's happening. Not just California, but Montana, Did New Jersey, I was right? New York. That's all I heard is you said I was right, bro. That's all I heard. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in my zone. Anywho, the question I have for you, my man, like we discussed this in detail a few weeks ago. Like, how is this tide going to affect it on a federal level? So we have these type of stances on a state level where a state will say no for the citizens of this state, net neutrality will be preserved. But how do we overturn it on a federal level? That's the question. Net neutrality is like smoking weed. At some point in time, everybody's going to be able to do it, and it's essentially going to be legal. It's illegal in a couple states right now, but coming forth in the soon future, everybody will be, have access to great Internet. Why? It helps your economy out. Uh, it helps education. It uh, provides access uh, to people in lesser need places, not just to get on the internet, but to be able to use a healthy internet. They aren't limited to having to sit in one little corner in their house to get a good internet speed. People will yeah. be able to uh, have freedom. That's right. Uh, if I'm a if I'm a developer, uh, there are all these um, smart home devices. Uh, you have the Nest. You have. Uh, you, I mean, you have every, I just say from your lights to your garage, to your car, to your, everything is smart now. Yeah, so, of things. Right? So you can use more when you have what? A better internet speed. That's right. Pow. So, hey, I, I agree with all of that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like. I thought you were hating last time. Really talk. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm How just, was I hating? Like, I feel like you I'm, were trying to make an, people pay for it. I'm actually an activist for net neutrality. I thought you were trying to make us pay for it. We are paying for it. Net, like neutrality, pay pay. Net, net neutrality doesn't mean you don't pay, dog. Yeah, <laughs> like but you, you still have to pay. You wanted me to pay for that, for that, <laughs> like for, for that premium. Bro, you still have to pay. What do you mean? For a premium? Or we'll yeah. all have the same speed? Bro, net neutrality doesn't mean that you can't have variating speeds. That's not what that means. It means that is that, what it means. No, it's not what it means. It means that, that me as an ISP can control your speed. That's what that means. R regardless of what you pay me. If you pay me the flat fee, so we, we both have 100 megabytes per second for our download speed. Yes. Net neutrality means that if I want 200, I could pay a little bit more. However, net neutrality gone away means that if you pay 20 bucks for 100 megabytes per second in your neck of the woods, I might have to pay 50 for 100 megabytes per second. That's the difference. Yes. But if you want a 200, you got to pay a little bit more. If you want Open a 300, you got to pay a little bit more. T-Mobile it. 
<laughs> Anywho, man, I hope that uh, next time we talk about this, it's all 50 states that have said, you know what, we're going to preserve net neutrality and give middle give the middle finger to Trump. You know what I'm saying? So that's where we at. Let me Don't ask do that you, when I'm drinking. Let me ask you this, bro. So North Carolina rally police. North are Carolina. Saying, exactly. That's funny. I was actually listening to that song the other day. They're saying to Google that if a criminal um, commits a crime in a certain area, that they're able to get a warrant for the information on their phone, right? And that warrant will allow them to have all information regarding the location services that they have in all their apps. So like, hey, you might have committed a crime in, around, the, around the corner. We want to see if you were around the corner. And so your phone pretty much has the evidence that, yeah, you were around the corner around this time when that robbery was committed. So, huh, how do you explain that? The question I have for you is, because we always talk about privacy and we always talk about protection, like security. So, like, as a, as a user of the phone, like, do you think that Google should be allowed to say no to the police department? Like, no, nah, we're not giving away our user's information even though you might actually be doing cr criminal activity or should Google say, Hey, you no, know, we protect everybody. You ain't getting no information. When you come in a stance of obviously we know with, with child abusers and, um, uh, whatever serious, serious crimes, terrorism that go out, it's, it's open, but there's no reason that these things shouldn't open up to all crimes and within discretion. Because I also know, and I, I understand um, where this could go. Because let's say somebody left their phone at home and they left. So that's all that somebody's going to do is leave their phone at home. But if there is a chance that you can pin somebody to a crime where it's pretty obvious in what they were doing or where they were, and they're silly enough to commit a crime, uh, hopefully this helps so that people aren't silly enough to just do the act and all. And it, it really puts it into a lot of stuff. I don't think it's a guarantee. I would hate for someone to go to prison or for someone to like almost now like plant somebody else's phone and do a crime. Um, but I believe with it used within discretion and reasonably, this could be a great asset, Achille. Hmm. I mean, I hear what you're saying. I agree with what you're saying. Using discretion. However, the point of disagreement is like, who, who, who can we trust for that discretion? Who can we trust? Like there's, there's tons of like corrupt and dirty police and policing organizations that would do exactly that. Like I'll go on record saying it. Like, I don't feel, I don't have the faith in that. I don't have the faith in that institution that, hey, if I was in the vicinity of a crime and they happen, they happen to pull me over, they're going to take my cell phone and be like, hey, you were on that corner, on that block where a, where a robbery was committed. It's you. I don't have the trust that, that, that I'll have a fair, equal opportunity to defend myself. You don't think discretion would be used? No, I don't. I don't, I don't think that you can say that, bro. I, think I don't think that I levels, can say that. There's levels to everything, though, dog. Levels to everything. So what levels are there? Please, I hear you, though. That it, can, it, it can be used, and you don't believe in the corruption, but it could be something that you, you could fight or just common sense. If you are speeding, and I can pull up your phone, and your phone says, man, you are doing 90 to 100, this could save lives. So you mean okay. to tell no, me if there's a murderer out there, we can't use this to track down a murderer? No, you use and you and no. you can use a deductive get, reasoning. Get other forensic information, forensic evidence to be able to to say that a murder was committed. You what don't if have, the phone? You don't have what to if the phone also has a video or have, audio? You of don't you. have to sequester my phone or, or people that look like me because I'm in the area. Go deeper, no. fam. Go deeper, fam. What if it had a video and audio of you where you, clearly your vocal patterns are matching up on the so, phone so what and there's what, photos what, what or video happen, taken. What would happen is, is that I would have, either my lawyer would, would say, hey, you should do that, you should provide that information, but to have Apple or have Verizon say, or Google or whatever say, hey, you can, just, you can get it just because? No, that's a problem. Let my lawyer decide that, let me decide that. That, hey, you can look through my phone, like, let me decide that. Like, don't have that be nah, decided bro. for me. Let me tell you something, let me tell you the stupidest thing in the world. Out of my home, since you're all riled up out of my home, I am riled up. My Apple uh, computer. I had a couple of computers stolen, literally from my home. I got on my iCloud services, mm -hmm. and I saw somebody renamed my darn computer uh -huh. to their name because they stole my laptop. That's right. And the, and key, when the I, key word is you got on there to check. Let me finish. Uh huh. And when I listen to me, my dude. <laughs> and when I called Apple and said, tell me where my phone is, turn on the locational services, 
They said, oh, when you called Apple? I called Apple up. Uh -huh. I called Apple directly, and they said, well, we can't do that. If you didn't turn it on, sir, there's nothing that we can do, and uh -huh. this person can just steal your product. And even though we have the technology yeah. of telling you who took your phone, who burglarized your house, yeah. who went in your property, yeah. I can't get that information from Apple because these stupid terms of service, well, when it is common sense well, that Ryan, somebody came out of my house well, and Ryan, stole my stuff. Well, Ryan, what you should have done is had a better security camera in your house so that you could have the evidence, the forensic evidence, to see who stole it. That's on you, my man. That's not on Apple. Come on, take some responsibility. So that's okay? <laughs> what, You're cool with that? What do you mean? You're cool with me stealing your phone you and just mean? knowing the services are off? Bro, if, if you... And, and, and they're not going to step up to turn them on? Bro, if Because this could be anything, dog. Hey, it could be anything. But it's a slippery slope, bro. So if someone steals anything, so, it sh so if someone steals my, my sweater... My jeans, should it be on, on the store that I bought it from? Why responsibility? the heck That's do stupid. you have my laptop? This is this is case closed. Why did you leave it so, for someone to take it? In my house? Yeah. In my closed house? Yeah. How come you don't have an alarm system? How come you don't have security camera? How come you don't have it put in the safe? You're not serious right I'm now. I'm dead serious. You're not serious so, right now. So you, so you mean to tell me that if there are a million, so iPhone, my, so, a million iPhones get stolen every week, it's Apple's responsibility to, to tell everyone that? They should be able to That's turn ridiculous. on the locational services so, so that somebody can find their stuff. So you're okay if I just walk in your home and you didn't properly shield something up. Well, it's you your fault. You should have done it. No, I'm not. I'm you asking you. You should have had the location services already turned. It was on. an older laptop. How come you don't have? How come you don't have the? I didn't. Your thumbprint I didn't on it. Because I didn't. Who's, it was a laptop. Whose fault is that? Because I didn't. You. So you it's because, so you're telling me it's, it's my fault. It's a laptop. You should so have been able on. to have a password. So you're telling the folks at home. It's that your if they have a laptop at home, yeah, and at somebody home. goes in their house on their property and Ultimately, takes their stuff, they are responsible. It's not on. Apple that's responsible hold for on. that. So if somebody goes in your home, I'm answering, takes you. your stuff, and I'm, I'm you forgot to per turn on the locational services, but they have control over listen, turning that listen on to what you're or saying. finding it. You forgot. Listen to what you're to saying. To turn on the locational services, you forgot. Yeah. It's not Apple's so responsibility cool. to, can, to do I that can for steal. you. That's cool. I can steal from no, you that as long as that the locational mean, that services are on. That does not mean That's that, what you're saying. No, I didn't say anything. It doesn't mean that Apple is saying you can steal. Like, how are you drawing that conclusion? They have the conclusion? ability to help you out. And they, they, have, know, they, probably have the ability, they know where your stuff is at. They probably have the ability to do many things. But so what? That doesn't mean anything, bro. You're, you, are, you as a user are protected. Because what happens if the person that called Apple is lying? How do, how do I know it's you? How do I know it's your voice? How do I know that your voice is Ryan? How do I know? I have my ID, which so I what? can name I can and steal go that through too. a variety I can steal of security that questions. I can steal that too. Variety of ways, the same way you call your bank and let I your bank know through a variety too. of questions who you are, what you password, and what name that you made. I just answered no, it. No, the question was, how do I know it's you? Know you? you know what this is? You know what this is? You're on the corner. You're walking through the neighborhood. Bro, you can't possibly. You cannot You're possibly walking through, say. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm, not, I'm not finished. You're not let me finish. I'm not. I'm not. You cannot possibly say that a company is responsible for millions, hundreds of millions of of devices, Apple devices, because someone steals one of them. The company is responsible for that. That's your argument. They can't help That's you ridiculous, find it. That's ridiculous, bro. I'm saying help you find it when they know and they can pinpoint where it is. This is the equivalent no, of no. They can't help you find it because they're giving you all the security measures, and you were you were irresponsible not to employ them. It was before locational services even Bro, existed. You have to put a password onto your computer. You have location services on the computer. That's a, that's a bunch of BS. Let me give you something. Let me give you something because this is a co this is a computer that was before those times. This then is it, a computer it was before nothing. it was popular. Then it was worth enough. nothing. That's why you had a it's lay, mine. That's why you had to lay it around like it was nothing. It's mine. It wasn't laying around in my house. Yeah, it it's probably, not laying you around. It, you probably put it on the trash can. I can't believe you're it didn't saying even have this. Location this is what you're telling me, dog. <laughs> so you're the guy strolling and walking through the neighborhood, and you literally see somebody pillaging and stealing runs outside of the house, holding some goods, what some stolen what goods, you're saying and then sense, let me bro. finish, and then they run into another house. And this person gets home and they come out and they're frantic. Oh my God, where's my stuff? Somebody stole from me. Boom, Achilles right there. And you're pretty much going, I saw who they, what they did. I saw them come out of your house with your stuff. And I know where they went. Hey, but you know what? Then you know what? Call the police. Let me finish. File a police report. Take me I did file a police report. Okay, then. But I'm not going to tell you where it's at. Hey, I'm sorry. Because and it's okay. 
See, for okay. people like it, you it is are okay. the reason that thieves are okay. still stealing and robbing. And it's, it's people, for people, it's people like you. It's people like you that don't have the intellectual capacity to put the security measures on the, the devices that they, they so care about. It's people like you that expect someone to come save them because they're not responsible enough to save themselves. I'm not themselves. expecting nobody to come in my darn house. Well, then you, hey, if then you can do things about that, bro. Should Apple be your security guard? They should be able to, if they have locational services and they can hey, turn well, it on, you're they should be able to tell me where my stuff is on. If, if I can look on my listen, device and see that somebody make, else is using it. You make a choice, my man, to buy that phone, to buy that computer. If you're not happy with their terms and services, don't buy the product. I probably shouldn't. Buy something else. I probably shouldn't. You're responsible for that, not them. Y and you're okay with stealing. No, I'm not okay. You with are stealing. okay with stealing. Like, can you please intellectualize how I'm okay with stealing? Because I said that you're responsible for the product. Because you're you telling buy. me that you will watch somebody come out of somebody's house, know the no, other I, place, I, I actually, and know actually, the location where they went. Because it didn't have any. Capacity that's what Apple's doing in the, in the conversation. That's what Apple's doing. No, that's know not where what they they're are, doing. Know where your stuff is set up at, no, and they won't tell you. That's not what they're doing, bro. That's not. What's if you happening. can pop up on a cloud, you can pop up on a location. That's not what's happening. Oh, they don't have the technology, bro. That's that's not what this argument is about. Like you're talking about, you just talk about random things. That's not what we're talking it's, about. It's, it's very relevant. No, we're talking about if a crime, my man, to center the conversation back to, to the origin point, if a crime is committed in a, in a certain vicinity, and because hey, me as a police officer pulls you over because you're in that vicinity, I could just get your phone and get your location services without any because I just have a blanket warrant. That's, that's are you I how agree are you, there's how more are you to equating it. that how are you equating that with someone breaking into your house and stealing a computer that's completely different number one like you're talking about something completely different number nah. two number two bro that's not that's not how this this world works we live in a corrupt system like you you we already have it against us where we can't have a fair shake look at prison the prison industrial complex how many so many black people are are unfairly incarcerated how we don't have the same um protections under the law like the same crime that a white man commits the same versus the same crime a black man com commits the black man's gonna get more time so you mean to tell me that now now a police a police department can say i can get your phone and get access to where you are and use that as evidence to pin a crime on you and that you're okay with that that's insane that's not what i said i said within so what reason, did you say within logic if it makes sense, if your phone happens to be in Fresno and you came back to Calif came back to Southern California and we know you just happened to be in this vicinity of this <laughs> IHOP, which was robbed, and you back in LA, and I got five people that are saying that you did it, and your phone is showing a location in there, not just a general all black people and in so Inglewood could have stole. My so all was, of you guys are subjects now. My response That's not what I'm saying. My response to that was, and we're gonna conclude this conversation. My response to that was if that is the case, then hey, arrest me and then let the court of law decide. I'll have my lawyer, and then I can decide that. I can decide if you if you want to use my phone or not. Or if, if you have a warrant to be able to use my phone, you get the warrant to get to get my phone. Get a warrant to get my phone. Don't just get a warrant from Google that says any phone you want you can get. That's a that's a big difference. I think, I think that would it, would it and and I get you because it's, if it's overplayed, if they just want to make up a reason to take your phone, make up a reason to go through it. And I agree, you shouldn't be able to just walk down and see a black dude on the street and harass him and just say, "Oh man, you you just walked from that corner over there and you you probably did it." I'm with that, but I think there's a time and a place for everything, Akili. I'm with it. There's a time and a place for everything, and the, the time and place for this is, for this discussion is to stop. <laughs> We're going to move on. This is a really cool st story, and I wanted to get your take about it. It's my laptop. Um, former President Barack Obama and his wife, Michelle Obama, Lotus, are uh, reportedly talking to Netflix about developing a series of shows for the network. And so I think this is pretty cool. The, the show, theoretically, could be about topics that the, you know, the president is really passionate about. They've already said that you know whatever portion of the money they get from the Netflix deal, they're going to give to charity. They just signed a huge publishing deal for books that are um, going to be written on them for more than $60 million. Like, how cool is it to you to have a talk show uh, with the Obamas on Netflix? Man, they've been such a... Uh... I guess you would say, I mean, I can't even say a national sensation, like a royal sensation. And you, I just get the feeling like, man, people just want to see more and just want to hear what they have to say. So it's actually pretty cool, man. It, you, you wonder how that life works and uh, how their lives work, their day to day, what their message is, what their goals were. It was, we've never seen anything like that, uh, deserve, deservedly so in the White House. 
and it's almost like the term ended, you know, too short, so to speak. And I do, I do understand that. So we've never, we've never seen nothing like this. We've seen never. ex presidents have interviews and whatnot, but it's like, man, this guy could really, uh, I guess, still push some messages of peace and exactly. and, and understanding, man. And and, and that, that that's really, really cool to me. Like you know, that is. This is the first good thing you said in like four weeks. Dog, you're out of control, <laughs> bro. You started the show by agreeing with in me. In like four weeks, You started man, the show by was, saying I was that right. That was your first good take. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my anyway, gosh. Anyway, gosh. Just playing with you. But, uh, yeah, uh, are you familiar with uh, Sidewalk Labs? Have you heard of them? Sidewalk Labs. Yeah, yeah so no, it's an alphabet. It's a, it's a Google company. It's an alphabet company. Um, and they've mapped out pretty much, like, all of San Francisco's parking rules. And so the idea is, as we move into the space of Lyft and Uber and having, you know, uh, on-demand apps for, for transportation and having autonomous vehicles be more part of the zeitgeist of our society, like, how do we disrupt or how do we change parking spaces? So we have parking spaces that have meters. We have parking spaces for um, loading zones. We have parking spaces for drop-off, right? So all that's going to change in a city where now more people are being dropped off versus being having their own vehicle to park. So this so this alphabet company, Sidewalk Labs, has developed um, this app that actually maps out the best way to be able to load unload someone and to do it in a way that it doesn't create more traffic. Um, and also it, it just creates like a, a, a certain flow to the city. And so I guess... The question is, it will be a business-to-business -business product, meaning that it won't be for the, it won't, it won't be for like a consumer, it will be for a business to be able to use. Like, how can I operate this um, to help my business grow? And so my question is, do you think that this type of technology or this app will be useful, especially with how the landscape is changing with our transportation infrastructure? Man, I love this. Because parking and overpopulation, it, it really is a problem, especially in the big city, like in San Francisco, uh, Los Angeles, like where we are, New York. Uh, parking is a huge problem. And it makes me think, you know, what, what's interesting, Akili, I actually met with, uh, I did a DraftKings event uh, this week, and I met with a lady, an investor uh, in DraftKings in a project. And what they're doing is they're creating a driverless car. Right. And... It's interesting, it's still in prototype phases, but they're waiting until some laws and legislation are passed in which these driverless cars are available. So which tells me that once the technology, like we talked about last week about Uber, once this technology is available, these cars are gonna be kicked into and flooding the market into a point where you have to use them. And if I can save a parking space or I can save time, or like it is a huge factor, man. When I when I ride Uber, just knowing that it's kind of like, hey, I can save that extra fifteen minutes on parking. Yeah. I don't have to worry about where I park. I don't have to worry about the traffic. I I don't have to worry about. Um, I guess in some point we're hoping the safety, because that's the whole goal of driverless car is safety, man. It's, it's saving lives and not taking lives. So that's right. this app right here is amazing and ahead of its time and further proof. Uh, that, that we're getting to an age, man, where we can just hop on this this little freeway or maybe we solve, uh-oh, don't let me drop this bomb. Maybe it solves Los Angeles traffic. Woo! <laughs> man. Yeah, that would be awesome, man. I think that, that I think that's the idea behind it is like how can we still figure out a way to bring business to businesses in the city but also, you know, reduce the, the traffic footprint uh, with now all these additional... Uh, riders and autonomous vehicles that will be introduced into our society. So I think having an app that can like literally map out which direction to go in a better, sophistico better sophisticated way and also get us to our destination on time, but keep the city moving, keep the city grooving. So I, I think that's pretty fresh. And uh, we're almost out of time, but I want to get into some uh, some nerd stuff, man. Have you seen, bro, the Avengers Affinity War trailer? Bro, I, I have. What? That I'm like. Fire. I like I'm so excited. Let me try to describe this in the right word. I'm so excited that I'm trying not to look at the trailer and stuff like that because it like it's gonna just burn and tattoo its way onto my brain 
and that I can't go see it right now, like it drives me crazy. Like it gets ingrained in the back of my mind, dog. And I don't, like I almost don't want to see it. It's so good. You get what I'm saying? Like, like, are you kidding me? Are you Man, bringing every it's all your favorite characters all in the same movie battling it out, bro? I like, thought this that, looks crazy. I thought that the Age of Ultron let me down, but I'm like, there's no way Thanos is letting me down. Like, it's too much. Man, yeah, I'm excited for that. So it comes out April 27th, and I will definitely have my tickets man we should definitely go see that together don't play around dog because you've been skipping out we were supposed to see black panther together we were supposed to see a couple different things dog i know man i know you're absolutely right man homie to the fire bro uh facts quick quick question have you uh are you are you hip to ready player one have you seen it are you gonna go see it ready comes out preached tell me what what this is the spielberg movie man it was a huge book um and man it is it's pretty much bringing in all the dope elements of like our childhood, like dope stuff from the 80s, 90s, video games, like characters from just like everything, huh. all into one world, essentially. And so, um, yeah, like I'm, I'm excited for that. It's, it's gotten 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, but yeah, I'll send you the link later so you huh. can check out the trailer. But it's, it's, I think it's you put be me a on a lot, dog. You put me on Stranger Things. You put me on a couple of like facts like Westworld. Like you, you put me on, bro. Bro, you could say you could say I put you on. Period. I'm cannot. <laughs> I cannot give you that, bro. You say, hey, dog. You uh, something else. You come in the show listening to Dog Pound, and then you're just talking crazy. Hey, we can't come into that anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, man. We got one last story, man. You're a big video game guy, but I don't know. Were you ever a PC game guy? A little bit. A little bit. Uh, World of Warcraft. I would play that. Um, was it? Um, it, there's a couple games. I really didn't get all the way into it because I never had a strong enough computer to dive into those worlds fully. And then obviously, Nintendo, Sega, NES, those systems came out, and it really just capitalized on the gaming experience for myself. So, are you are you um hip to Overwatch? Overwatch, yeah, it, it, it's streaming. Um, it, it's taking over League of Legends. It's right. just giving everybody what they want. And for the gamers, it's like, whoa, I get all these characters. I get all these worlds. And and, and I'm and it's just a blend of action, adventure, um, online play. Uh, it, it's an immense game, man. And it's blowing everything out the water. Man, it's blowing everything out the water. It's crazy. Well, I have yet to play it myself. I've watched people play it. But it seems pretty dope. And... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see like how far it goes. Akili, yes sir. There's there's like millions, soon to be billions of dollars behind this. Like it's I'm already a, knowing it's a phenom. Like we're thinking, we think video games. We think Xbox. We think you know, uh, you know, PlayStation. Right. This succeeds anything we're doing on the Xbox or PlayStation, dog. I can't fathom it, man. I think what's dope about this is though that Facebook is trying to get into like the whole like game streaming audience. Like so, you have Twitch, you have YouTube, where you can actually watch people play video games, all that stuff. So Facebook wants to be able to have its own, obviously, its own version of that. So they they have what is called uh, I mean, at their at they have, they have what's called. Um, well, they're, they're developing actually something um, at the the game developers conference in San Francisco, where now that you can actually have this this platform where you can watch people play video games and have the whole live streaming mobile instant stuff all happening at once on Facebook, and so I think this is a great move for them. Do you agree? Absolutely. You know, it's funny when I think of Facebook, I think of Zuckerberg. He had to grow up watching Pinky in the Brain. What are we doing today? Same thing. We do everything. Try to take over the world. Like this dude is trying to do literally everything, bro. Literally, 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 man. Well, hey, that wraps it up for us, man. I will be sure to notate that you are for policing agencies sequestering our phones just because we are in an area. In reason, dog. In, in reason. reason. Hopefully it holds police accountable. Hey. Boom. In How? Yeah. We're going to talk more about this offline. But anyway, where can the people find you? Check your boy out on Twitter, at the Ryan Hollins. Instagram, Ryan Hollins. Webpage Ryan-Hollins.com. I need your support. There's no, there's no us. There's no me. There's no Achille without you, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting, man. It's two guys trying to follow their dreams. Achille, what about you? Yes, Jay? sir. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Achille Shine. A K I L I S H. 
S I don't know. S H I N E. I got tongue twisted tied there. Get your mic voice but back. I would like to also give a shout out to all the people that support this show and watch and tune in. We are, we appreciate you and thank you for your support. And we will see you and talk with you next week. Have a good one out there. From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Christie, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us. Info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live, Scipio, Instagramming at KingXO Bay. Thanks for tuning in. The views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.